Jakob, welcome back to Dunfermline after being away on international duty. Um, just tell us a little bit about how you got on with, with Poland under 21s. It was a bit disappointing um, with the results. Um, we played our first game against Israel, which was um, a draw, and we, I think we could have won. Fortunately, we never did. We kept the draw, which wasn't too bad. Then we were going towards the Hungary game. And that was a must-win game for us to give us give ourselves the best chance to get qualified for Euros. Unfortunately, never played the way we were supposed to, and a draw again, which puts us in a position where we still do have a chance to get qualified. But now it's just not up to us. is It's not just in our hands, so we have to focus on our games um, in June and then. See, see where that's going to take us and obviously look at the other results that will hopefully help us out to get qualified. I think it's six appearances you've made here at Dunfermline now so in those six games you obviously done enough to impress the, the national boss and, and get a call up again for, for, your, um, for your international uh, country so you must be really pleased with the way that you're developing here at East End Park and, and how we've managed to help you get back into that international stage as well. Oh, I, honestly, like you said, I played about six games um, and honestly, the, how much I've learned over those six games, um, I mean, some of the goals I've conceded, the way how the games were going just against us, not having enough luck in the position that we're in, it's not been the easiest but that's all the development that I need and for me personally is all I want to ask for is that's why that's why I came here and I want to play those games and uh, you know it's just good to get this experience earlier on I'm only 21 and for me to play on this level and get this physical challenge which I did get in the last few games then you obviously impressing the national team as you said and getting a call up is all just a positive that I got to take on board and now coming back here after the national break uh, just focusing on, on the next next games and just got to do my best, got to try my best and you know see where that's going to take us obviously and help the team stay, stay up. In terms of the games that you missed while well, you were away we won home for one against Patrick Thistle but Boss 2 now away to Inverness. Did you get a chance to see any of the games and were you keeping up to date with the scores and, and happy enough to see us pick up at least uh, three points out of the six? Oh, yeah, obviously. That was, that was always the case. Uh, the game against Party Thistle I was watching um, in my room in the, in the hotel when we were in the national team and it was, it was such a joy to actually watch this game and so glad to to take those three points which were I think very very important you can hear from the camera the, the fans the, our 12th man which I think helped a lot in this game and then I didn't really get as much of a chance to watch the Inverness game but I did follow the score which was obviously a bit frustrating spoke to some of the boys in here obviously we're not very happy with that we didn't pick up six points out of two games but we've got a game on Wednesday, that's what we're looking for now and focusing on this. Your first Fife Derby if you get the opportunity to play again on, on Wednesday evening but having um, missed those two games, Dennis Mehmet has came in and done well and he'll be hoping to keep his place so you know competition is, is there and, and I'm sure today and tomorrow in training you'll be you'll be fighting ever so hard to, to make sure you're starting on Wednesday. <coughs> yeah, I'm... I'm so glad for Dennis because uh, I've been here when I came here. He was injured with his um, with his hand, was struggling with it. So I felt a bit sorry for him. And now, obviously, me being away with the national team, him him just play playing those two games, having one good, very good result. And then in the Inverness game, I don't think he could do much more. So I'm really glad for him, and I'm glad there's going to be a competition. Like you said, I'm not sure what's going to be happening on Wednesday, but. It, I'm buzzing for, for this game, for this derby, because it's, it's a huge game. I don't think, ju not only for us, but also for the fans. So I know it's going to be a big one. Um, not only obviously looking at the table and the points that we need, but just the sake of this game. Um, and like I said, I'm glad for Dennis, and I can't wait to you know fight for my spot. 
hit in, in this spot, so it's going to be it's going to be a good.